All right, everybody. Well, welcome. I'd like to welcome you today on behalf of Run Sign Up. Uh, this recording, the slide content, and the website examples for the live demo portion will all be available after the webinar, and we'll have some time for Q and A at the end. So, let's get started. Uh, upsell your races with multi-race bundles. So, the most effective way to use multi-race registration, or what's often called or referred to as the bundle is the classic upsell approach. Um, basically, you've already spent time and resources marketing to a participant, so you can then incentivize them to register for another one of your races at the same time. Um, here's an example of an upsell, where you get a participant to sign up for your July 4th race, and you can also have them register for your turkey trot at the same time, by uh, giving them a small discount. Uh, this is very popular among our holiday races, um, you know, especially like Mother's Day and Father's Day combos. Um, and just any holiday race or any race in particular. Um, some example use cases. So we've quickly covered the main example, which is the upsell approach. Um, and that can involve two races that you own, or you can cross promote with another race in the area. Uh, this can lead to creating challenges where participants would register for events maybe on opposite sides of town. Um, and it's a creative way to partner with another race. Uh, one quick example of this would be like a run the city challenge where the goal is to get participants to run a race in, in different parts of your city. Um, a race series is another popular example where you offer a single registration option for participants, but they're automatically entered in every race that is part of that series, making registration and data management a breeze. Uh, then you have the hybrid example where you can offer like a season pass, which would allow someone to choose a minimum or a maximum amount of events um, as they're registering through a single transaction. So the benefits for races, um, in our quoted example, you know, the Morristown Turkey Trot markets to the Scott Coffee participants who might not normally run the Turkey Trot and, and vice versa. So this discounted bundle option, you know, can increase transaction dollars because you're promoting registration to more than one race and to participants who might only sign up for one race at a time. Um, finances are easily managed from the race dashboard. Uh, we currently offer T accounting where transaction dollars go to the race that started the registration process, but um, we track how much each race owes in the bundle in a nice simple report. Uh, in a future update, hopefully this year, we will automatically split those finances out as well. Um, participants are automatically added to both races. Um, if you're doing a two race or all races in a series, and the participant records will show you know, the associated amount with that particular registration. So no more data management nightmares. Um, transfers and refunds all work just as well as any other participant management functions that we have, like updating your giveaway or questions. Um, processing fees are calculated at the total cart, just as with any standard registration with Run Sign Up. And this makes participants happy, um, you know, because if they're paying the fees, they're paying less. Or if the race is absorbing the fees, then the race uh, is paying less as well. And then, um, as uh, previously announced, marketing fees are reduced. Um, because instead of marketing for one particular registration, um, you're basically getting a two-for-one deal. So if your cost per acquisition is normally $5, it's basically split in half when you account for multi-race registration. So benefits to participants. Um, some would be the discounted registration fees, you know, lower processing fees in the end, um, as well as the quick registration options. Um, each in, when I register for a bundle, every single race that's part of it would show up in my profile for me to manage um, those races individually. So let's go ahead and dive into our example here, and we'll get set up with a multi-race registration. So I'm in the race dashboard here, and we have our own separate tab on, on the towards the bottom is the multi-race registration tab. And so if we click into multi-race bundles, there's no bundle that's currently set up. And we want to add this race as an upsell bundle. So I'll go ahead and click add multi-race bundle. So I'm just gonna name this um, my bundle. And there's some other options in here where you can set the primary race only. For this example, we're not gonna do that. But what this primary race only option does is it forces all bundle registrations to come through this primary race. The available starting date, this is when you want the bundle to begin. Um, and so we'll just go ahead and put in any date here and then available until um, the end of the bundle. 
And basically what happens is this is when the bundle will show up on the registration path. However, registration needs to be available for all races in the bundle for it to actually show up. So even though we're saying the bundle starts on January 1 here, if registration doesn't actually open until March or April, then this won't actually show up um, until that time period. The next step is how many races we want to include uh, in our bundle. So we're going to do a little upsell approach. So we're just going to put two races in our bundle. And if you have more races, this is where you can enter the maximum. Um, if you want it to just keep it at two, you can leave that blank um, because if you leave it blank, you know, the minimum number is already included. So by default, because we're inside the Walk Like an Egyptian 5K race, that's going to be the first race that's in here. And we want to allow people that they can either sign up for the 5K or the one mile for this bundle. Um, and so we want to give them the choice of one event that they can choose from. So there's multiple events in this race, so we want to make them all selectable, but we only want to give the participant the option to choose one of those when they register for the bundle. If I chose, if I set two here, then that would force somebody to do both the 5K and the one mile. Um, so we only want to set that at one. In most cases, the one is the, the option that you're looking for um, when setting up the number that people can select. Uh, the event display options, you can either set this bundle to show up before or after the events. Um, if you're using the um, grid view, the before will show up basically on the left, the after will show up on the right, and you can also uh, change your layout where it goes more top to bottom, and then obviously before will be at the top and at the end will be at the bottom. So the next race we want to add, um, we're going to pick our next race here, and we'll pick the Flock of Seagulls Marathon. And we only want to give somebody the option to choose the marathon. We don't want to put a relay inside of this bundle for now. So we're just going to choose the one event and we're going to choose one here. Again, most often this is always a one. And for display purposes, I typically recommend just putting it before the event. So now that we have all of our races in the bundle, we're going to set up the pricing. Uh, pricing has two different options. You can just offer a standard discount. Um, this is probably the most popular one. Whatever the cost of registration is at that time, we'll discount it. So if you have three or four different pricing periods, we're going to basically give that percent or dollar discount off of that period at that time. Uh, we also have an option to set up your registration period. So you can set a fixed dollar amount for the bundle, and then that will get equally distributed uh, among each race you know, based off of the, the event cost. Um, so for this example, we're just going to give a $5 discount. So we're going to say zero for a percent and five dollars for the discount and we're going to click add multi-race bundle and so this takes us right into our advanced settings here and the advanced settings is always something that you want to look at doing um, we have a display setting option the display setting you can give a highlight this is similar to our event display option highlights where i can add um, you know bundle and save and that'll be a little ribbon on the top and you can also change the word bundle to something else you can change it to series you can change the challenge whatever type of um, tag that you want to um, change to it so we'll go ahead and click and save that display option and then real quick we're going to view our website to see those those changes that we've made so far so in the upper right hand side we have the view website button that allows us to easily flip over to the front end and now when we look at our race website we have this nice bundle option that we said we wanted to show up ahead of the registration path. So this bundle will show up right here for me to click sign up and register. So we, we wanna go back to our advanced settings. So we're gonna tab back into our race dashboard and we're going to click on this gray button here for back to advanced bundle settings. We can also navigate to our advanced settings by looking at our multi-race registration tab here under multi-race. This is the bundle that we just set up with our availability dates, our pricing, and the included events. And the actions area over here will have an option that I can edit to make any changes that I wanna make. I can uh, go into the advanced settings or I can discontinue the bundle if I no longer wanna do it. So we'll go ahead and click on advanced settings. And the giveaways, um, we wanna go into our giveaway option. Um, since we set up the standard run sign up default giveaways, we have the same options across all events. So we want to go ahead and click this quick match button 
and take a look here at this uh, table down at the bottom. When I click Quick Match, it's automatically going to say if I choose a small, well, that's the same as the small for the next race and the small for the other race. Same with medium and all over shirt sizes. So if you have custom shirt sizes, this Quick Match button works perfectly as long as you have the exact spelling. If you had, you know, women's S on one race and then women's small on another race, you would need to use this uh, custom mapping to say that. But as long as you've listed out everything the exact same way, it'll automatically um, map those for you. So we'll go back to our advanced settings. The other option that you always want to um, take a look at is the questions mapping. Questions mapping is really important because by default, when I'm registering for my race, it's only going to ask the questions from the initial race but you probably want to get that information into all the races. You know, emergency contact information might be asked or any other type of custom questions. So we're going to say that we want to ask questions for all races. And so we have already have our standard questions here that are mapped, which is our emergency contact information. Um, but we've noticed here that our, our question that we asked for one race, isn't the 80s music the best, is slightly different than do you like 80s music here? So we need to actually say that these are the um, same question. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna click the radio button for both of these and I'm gonna add the mapping. And now look at my mapping table. It's gonna add it basically here. So whatever answer I put for here is automatically gonna um, get pushed downstream to the other race as well. Um, the other neat thing about question mapping is you can hide the additional questions. So if I'm registering for multiple races at a time, I don't want to answer the same exact questions over and over and over again. And that's why this mapping is important. And a neat thing you can do for display is I can only present the question one time as well. And that, that's what this hidden um, secondary race questions is doing, is basically saying if I select questions to hide, then it's not going to show these questions in the race if I've already been answered those questions. So we'll go ahead and hide those questions here and click Setup. So we've, we've mapped our questions and we've hidden them from registration. That way they're only asked one time in the primary race and they're get, being hidden from the other race. And the reason why I'm hiding it from both races is because if I start registration through the Flock of Seagulls Marathon, it's going to hide those questions in the Walk Like an Egyptian 5K and vice versa. So that's why we hit it both there. So we'll turn back to our advanced settings. There's also the same options for add-ons. So by, by default, the add-ons are only asked for the original race. You can ask add-ons for all races if you had to set up. And then bib assignment. If you want to do like a golden bib where I register for the race and I get the same bib number assigned to all races, then bib assignment, you can set that up there as well. Um, so now that we've set this up, let's kind of go through the sample registration process here. So we'll go back to our race. And I see that there's a bundle here and I can save money by doing a bundle. I can click view bundle details and it's going to give me a nice pop up to show me what races are included and what events are included. And then I'll go ahead and click on sign up here. So I, I'm already logged in, so it'll fill my information. Um, and I can choose that I want to register for the 5K and we'll go ahead and continue through registration. So we have our shirt option here, and that's going to basically say that I have a large. If I switch to medium, it'll automatically switch to medium here. Um, and then notice that it's only asking me for my emergency contact information one time. So we'll do that. Uh, make sure I remember the password here. And here's the add-on that I'm being asked for the race and I get through to the final registration and it's going to put me into both races here on my checkout page. So that's basically how the registration works. I'd enter in my information and once I click register, my data is going to get put in both races. Um, so let's go back out. And that's the classic upsell approach. Let's also kind of go back to our multi-race registration. If I'm looking at the bundle, one cool thing, again, I'm under multi-race registration in the multi-race bundle option. Notice here how one of these is kind of bolded. That means I'm in that race. The other race is a link, and I'm race director of this race. So I can click this link and notice my title at the top in the blue. 
when I click on that link, now I'm in the Flock of Seagulls Marathon Challenge. So you can easily bounce back and forth between both races. So now let's view this website. And again, I only set the bundle up one time. And because I set it up to be in both of these races, my bundle shows up on the marathon race as well. So that makes it very simple to set up, very simple to manage. Um, you do everything from one, one location and it gets set up across all your races. So let's do another example where we do a race series. And this is a little bit more complicated of an example where we want to promote a race series. So we have this push it to the race um, series. And this is a race where we basically want to have a cover page. You can do marketing purposes. Um, we want to have a domain. You're, right, you're basically pushing everybody to register for this series. Um, and maybe that you want to have all the accounting go through a simple race as well. So let's go into this race and let's kind of set up a two race series, but that involves a third race to kind of handle things. And that'll kind of start to make a little bit more sense as we build this out. So I'm in my series race that I want to dedicate a race to just the series. And I go under multi-race registration and multi-race bundles. And notice that there's nothing here. And that's because this race isn't part of a series. So I'm going to go ahead and click add multi-race bundle. And we're going to do push it to the limit. Again, the availability starting dates. I just want to go ahead and have people register immediately. So I just put it in here. And again, once the series is over, once the, um, you know, I can't register for the series anymore, the bundle will automatically disappear from the race page, regardless of what these dates are. So for this example, I do want to force people into the series race because that's where we're promoting. We want to force all registrations to come through here. Um, you can even do this by setting up special swag items um, or just doing the whole marketing approach where you want to um, run Facebook marketing through a specific pixel that's assigned to this race or any type of domain registration and things like that. So we're doing a two race series because we're using those two races that we already did. But this is a three race series because we have this third race. So we're going to say the minimum number of included races is three. And we're going to start the default is the push it to the race series. So for this race, I set up a single event that I just named series um, and, and we'll show some more advanced information here in a couple minutes. But there's a single event that it's required that everybody registers for just to facilitate registration. So that's a one event and you require them to select one. Um, we'll put it before just because that's what I typically recommend. And now we want to link our other races. So we're going to click on the walk like an Egyptian race. And this is a special 5K and marathon series. So we're just going to kind of line everything up, one event and one option. And then we'll do the Flock of Seagulls marathon and one-to-one. -one. So we're just setting up the basic bundle. But again, this is a series example. So we created a separate series page. And that turns our two-race series basically into a three-race series. And so now we want to get through, set up specific registration pricing. And we'll just set up the date range. And this is going to be effectively 100 bucks, but instead it, it would have been 120 if they started it. So we have the strike through pricing option. Again, this is our old marketing um, gimmicks that you can do to set up information like that. So go ahead and click and add this bundle. And again, it lands us right into the advanced series. We can, you know, redo the display options, redo the giveaways. Um, we'll set up the questions again real quick for all races. We'll do our quick matching. And let's see. And here's, here's a section here where we added password with a semicolon. But this one has password without a semicolon. So what we can do is we can delete using this trash can here in this uh, grid to delete password. And now we want to say, yep, this password is the same as password semicolon, and we'll add the mapping. And so that's easily how you, how you add mapping across multiple events. And then we'll just hide them depending on what's needed to be hidden. So we'll save that question setup. So now when we click view race website, again, this is using the cover page, so we didn't add anything. But when I flip over to the race info page, 
this is going to have our um, push it to the limit bundle that includes our series and this is why I named it series and that's just more of a, a display option to let participants know they're part of the series and that series includes the 5k and the marathon the advanced trick here is to notice that that series event is not actually showing up on the race page and that's a little um, series workaround that we do here and let's show you how we hid that event as part of the series so real quick we'll in our race dashboard under the race tab we'll go under registration and then dates pricing and options so the series race we've set as a zero dollar cost and that's because of that hundred dollars we don't want to have that hundred dollars broken out three ways between the series and then the 5k and the marathon we actually want that hundred dollars to be split appropriately among the two races in the series so by setting this to zero dollars we're helping facilitate that and then in these registration options this is a often overlooked feature here uh, you click show it'll expand and now we've basically made this event private by just typing in the word series you can type in hidden um, bundle whatever you want just any code will hide this from the registration process but allow registrations to flow through it um, so if you had custom questions that you only wanted to ask your series participants you would set up those questions through the series or the giveaway or add-ons and things like that so that's an advanced workaround for that and there's some more detailed documentation on the um, on the setup here so in the push it to the limit if you're interested in that, we have a series setup example information here that'll walk you through how to set up that hidden series. So now we'll go quickly, and when I click sign up, the only option for this um, series is the actual series itself. Again, we've hidden the, the event, and only the series option shows up when I register. So it makes it very simple. It's the only option I can do. I just click one time, and boom, I'm in. And it's the same registration flow to get through to get all the information asked for the, for the series. All right, so let's switch back here. And let's cover some other stuff. So we just quickly did an example for, for this webinar, but the bundle works with USA Triathlon. So if you have a triathlon bundle, uh, as long as um, somebody is a USA Triathlon member through um, the entire series, then they can register and put in their member number. Or if they're not a member, they can register and pay one, one fee, and it um, adds that membership you know, downstream to all the races. Uh, if you have teams, you can do team joining during the process. We're combining add-ons if you need to do that with shipping. Um, there's all kinds of display customizations. Um, for this example, again, I was the race director of both races, but if you're doing um, cross promotion, you can grant access to uh, um, somebody else to um, invite them to put their race as part of your bundle and they can view that information. Um, all the detailed transactions, you can download all that information. You can combine result notifications and it also you know, works with our corral system as well. So something to note, though, is this is a very complicated financial and data um, management feature. So coupons are not supported for this. Um, it was built kind of with discounts in mind. That's where you have the discount option uh, off of a percentage or a dollar amount, or you can set the fixed fee to kind of handle um, discounted options. Um, the finances are not split currently, but that's something that we are going to be working on in the future. Um, and again, registration must be open or that bundle will not show up on your race page. So um, when you're trying to set this up initially, if you're doing it ahead of time and registration isn't open, um, you, can, you can do some um, hidden tricks to kind of get registration open so you can see the bundle. Um, but if one of those races in my, either the marathon's not open, but the 5K is, the bundle will not display because I'm requiring two registrations uh, for that bundle. Um, renewal options. Uh, when you renew your race, you're renewing the individual race. Um, the bundle does not get renewed with it. You would have to create a new bundle um, each year um, that you want to continue to do multi-race registration. Um, and then when I say no bundle transfers, that means you can't transfer from, from one option to another within the bundle. Um, so um, one example I have work with, a wine glass, 
they have like a Pinot Noir challenge and then they have like a Chardonnay challenge and you can't transfer between one bundle option to another for, for the reporting, um, but that might be coming uh, later in the future. Um, speaking of the T accounting option where finances get broken down, um, under the multi-race registration tab, the other tab is the payment summary. And what this payment summary does is it aggregates wherever these registrations for your bundle came from, and it'll um, list out, you know, how much race uh, fees are owed to other races that are part of the bundle and how much race fees that those other races owe you. And so you can easily um, see how much, um, you know, where the most registrations are coming from, how much each other um, is owed for races, and that's something that has to be kind of settled up between the race directors offline. Um, but again, this is something that we're going to be working towards uh, this year is to automatically split the finances as well. So that'll be a great feature for a lot of people. I know they're looking for that. So let's talk about some other advanced features that aren't necessarily multi-race registration, but they're kind of similar. Um, and just to kind of go over these topics as well, super event grouping. Um, super event grouping is when you have multiple events within the same race and you want to allow somebody to do more than one event, um, but maybe cause a little bit more attention to it. So the example you might have seen during the, um, the Walk Like an Egyptian race is there's a 5K, there's a one mile, and then they have a super, um, super event grouping where you can register for the 5K plus the one mile as its own event option. And this will get you into the reports of each one. So if I want to run a report on all my 5K runners, that includes anybody who's also signed up for the 5K and one mile. Again, this is not something that you would necessarily set up when you're doing multi-race registration, but this is just a kind of a semi-related feature. Um, also related to multiple events within the same race, we do offer multi-event discounts. So you can say, hey, I wanna register for the 5K, and then you can prompt somebody to register for an additional event uh, and save money. So this example, uh, on the left-hand side, you just type in discount. It's under our financial pricing setup. And I can say, if I register for two events, I'm getting a 10% discount on that second event. And then the little image here at the bottom is our screenshot. During registration, I selected the 5K, and now I get prompted to add a second event to save 10%. Then uh, last but not least, another fear is series scoring. So when you're talking about a series, um, we kind of need to know if you're talking about a race series or for registration purposes or a race series as far as scoring purposes. So a lot of terms um, can get kind of crossed, but we do have a race series scoring feature. Um, basically, it's another way if you are doing one of those series where people are registering for multiple races, you can also score those races uh, in its own separate dashboard. And so those are other features that, that might be related that you might not be aware of that can also enhance both the multi-race registration feature for the race um, to grow and market to participants and have them kind of excited with your races. So the example websites that we covered today, you can always uh, click on to view what they look like and view the webinar list at the top. Um, so the upsell approach is just runsignup.com slash upsell. And then the series race is runsignup.com slash race series. And just to quickly show you, um, if you go to those pages and click view website, there's a lot of webinar links here that can give you some more information to do um, all kinds of cool features that we've added. The series setup guide will also be listed there. Um, and then a more detailed example with help guides on those related features uh, that we just covered. Hopefully that kind of runs through most of the multi-race registration. So I just wanted to open it up for any questions that people might have. So if you have All any right. questions, feel free to type them in. Go ahead, Johanna. Um, here's there's actually a couple of questions about multi-race bundles and race series. Um, can you have one uh, uh, races that are both a bundle and a part of a series? Absolutely. Yeah. So if we go back into our series page here, if I can find where my mouse went. Oops, wrong screen. 
Go back to sharing. So now that we're in our series, let's go back to both a bundle and a series. We'll go back to our look like an Egyptian 5K. And notice how this was our sample race where we did the upsell. So that's the My Bundle. And this is part of the bundle series. And because this is also part of a series race, it's also showing that there's another series that are limited here. Um, and in this example, when I land on this race, I'm only showing that two race bundle, but I can promote um, pushing people to the series as well if I wanted to. So yeah, any race can be part of a bundle and part of a series. Uh, with updates coming, do you anticipate coupons ever being supported? So coupons are very difficult. Um, we, there's a lot of stuff going on under the hood, um, and it would be very difficult for us to be able to support coupons and also be able to present um, the coupon discount in a logical manner that would be kind of understandable by humans in all honesty. Um, so, so it's gonna be quite a far ways away before we would support coupons. Um, there are some, again, workarounds that people have done where they create a, another race series on a hidden page for sponsors and they have like a, a discounted series registration. So just like we set this bundle up here, um, you can create the same thing with a $0 bundle and kind of backdoor people in at a discounted cost. Um, but the, the programming with sales tax, sales tax just really threw a huge wrench in, in that aspiration that we were hoping to get to. So um, it's quite a ways off if we get to it, unfortunately. Do I have to own the race to make it a part of a series? Great question. So no, there is an option to grant access to the bundle. Um, now, you do have to have race director access of at least one race, uh, but you can invite um, people into the bundle. Um, when we're going into that add a bundle section, there's an option up here to grant access. And when somebody grants you access, there's an option there to then accept access. And so for more details, um, that's going to be here. Obviously, um, you know, you do need to have a relationship with whoever you're going to be working with because they're going to have access to the participant data um, because it's shared across, you know, most, both races. Um, and then obviously, for now, you have to have some uh, level of accounting, um, you know, trust between the two parties to do that. Um, some people set up a, a separate bank account for, for that and then um, give both parties access to it. Um, and eventually we'll be, have the option to where you don't even have to worry about finances. It'll go directly to the race, and hopefully that's coming um, sometime this year. Um, is it required that the bundle be at a discounted price? Great question. No. So you can set um, the discount on event. You can say it's $0. Um, if you say that the discount is $0, we kind of hide that, so that way we don't say there's a $0 discount. Um, and a lot, and another option is you just set up the registration period to be like the exact cost of, of what that is. So yeah, it's pretty flexible to allow you to do um, either or. Um, if you weren't offering a discount, you just wanted to make it a simple registration process for your participants. Absolutely, you can you can still use this bundle without a, a discount option. Can we still accept donations with a donate button uh, if we have a bundle set up? Yeah, so the donations are going to be, um, I didn't turn on donations for this race, but the donations would be in the race that, that started. So again, when I've, if I had donations for this Walk Like an Egyptian 5K and I registered for the, the bundle and I donated, that donation would get attributed to that particular race. Um, there isn't a, like a downstream donation if, if there was like fundraising for the Flock of Seagulls race. If I registered from here, I wouldn't. Um, see that fundraising, you know, set up for the, the secondary race in the bundle, but donations can be um, added to it. Um, can you use a bundle to register two different people for events? And that the example I use is bundling an adult 5K and a kid's run, where they wouldn't be the same participant. Um, so, so it's 
a bundle would be one participant doing multiple races. So it, it, you can do two people in the bundle. Like when I sign up, I'm the first person I'm doing the bundle. And then I can also add another registrant. And that person can also do the bundle or not. So if I had a 5K adult race and a 5K youth race, you could do something like this. Um, but it wouldn't be a bundle where I'm signing up for, you know, the walk like an Egyptian race here, and then someone else is signing up for the flock of seagulls marathon. Um, I'm as a single participant. I'm choosing, you know, each option individually. If that makes sense. Hopefully that clears that up. Um, and if you have different waivers for each race, do they sign each waiver, or is only one waiver shown and they do a bundle? That, that's a great question. So right now, the waiver is the main waiver for the race that started the transaction, uh, similar to like where the finances get put in. Uh, we do have that on our development list to potentially uh, get somebody to sign, you know, multiple waivers. Um, but if you're doing a series, uh, ideally, you would want to get like the same waiver that is um, accessible across multiple ones. So if you are doing a challenge or you're working with a different race, um, it's probably best to, to get the waiver consolidated so that way it's the same for both races um, at this point in time but we we do have an option in our development queue list to uh, support multiple waivers in the future i think that's it for now uh, if we have any questions that we didn't get to then we will follow up with you by email after thanks matt hey thanks guys those are great questions and look forward to working with you later thanks again